you can find molecular motors inside the cell that look just like motors that we would build. The ribosome is a motor. There are videos of it in, 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 um, that have been computer generated and you can watch it chug along, chug, 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 and it <laughs> spits out amino acids and links them together. Then there's another one called the flagellum, uh, which is a little rotary motor embedded in the membrane of a bacterium. It's, it looks just like an inboard motor on a boat. It has the same sorts of parts. It has bearings, it has stators, it has the motor itself, it has a propeller attached. It can spin at speeds much faster than anything we can make. Average about 10,000, but up to 100,000 RPMs. It can stop, turn on a dime, literally in a quarter turn. It responds to information the cell receives about where the food is and what direction to swim. That is an amazing structure, and it looks like a machine, so we think of it as a machine. And you don't get machines from random mutation and natural selection because you need the whole thing with all of its parts in order for it to function. If you take away one part, it's broken.